Sorry if I sound a little odd during this video. I'm just recovering from a cold. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Power Ranger Ninja Steel Vlog with this episode, My Friend Redbot. No offense, but it actually kind of sounds like a doll that you would give to a little kid. You know, you remember like those Cabbage Patch or My Buddy thing? It's like one of those things. Anyway, the episode starts at school while they're setting up for the dance. Which is kind of weird, because they're still early in the series, and we're already doing a school dance. During that same time, Redbot is reading a fairy tale involving a prince taking a princess to the dance and having fun, and Redbot decides to try it out on Haley, which failed badly. During the time on Galvanac's ship, we get to introduce to the monster of the week, Bad Pipes. A Tengu monster that uses bad pipes to hypnotize his opponents. And what he did was made all the minions and the host do the can-can. Where do they get these names from for the monsters? They literally just said, okay, his name is Bad Pipes, and he can use bagpipes. I'll explain more in the Yokai fact about him. Back at school, we get this here about Victor bragging that he can dance, but even though the fact that he says he can dance, last time he crashed into the punch bowl. He tried doing it again with the dancing. This time... He crashed into the punch bowl, but it didn't spray him. It sprayed Brody and Haley. After that, Victor's just begging for Monty to help him learn to dance. And we never see them until the end of the episode. <coughs> Brody and Haley get back to the garage base. I don't everyone I don't know what to call them. I'm just gonna call it the garage due to the fact that it is they're in the metal shop classroom. And Brody's wondering where Redbot is, which Haley just explained what happened, and Brody just stated that you hurt Redbot's feelings. And she's just stating he's a machine. And this is where I have to take a step back. Yes, Redbot is a machine, but we don't know anything about Redbot. He could have been built by the Galvanax's group. We don't know about that, or he could be from an alien race that are robotic. Because Brody was captured on Earth and was considered a slave. Maybe Redbot's the same thing. Except he's not from the Machine Empire. <sighs> yeah, for those, if you heard that, Dolman made a Power Rangers Zeo joke saying that Redbot is not a member of the Machine Empire. Let's see. They did try to find a way to get find Redbot by using Haley's dog, Cody, which... Okay, I'm going to toss this one up in the air, because I don't know if dogs can find machines. Or a robot, what, they can track by oil? I don't know that, I'm not going to try to take a guess. Anyone who knows about hunting dogs, you can guys can explain in the comments. Anyway, it goes, Cody found the tracks of Redbot, only for them to find bad pipes. He was able to hypnotize Haley into almost giving up her ninja star until Redbot came in and saved the day. She quickly morphed and it became a massive game of hot potato with the bagpipes. To the point where even the dog Cody was helping by throwing dirt at him. Well, they were able to escape, but the... They suffered a malfunction, which caused them all to crash, and the crash was bad enough that she demorphed. So, I want to know, how strong of a, an attack you suffer before you demorph from your power? I never get that understanding. It could be a good strong hit or impact fall. Let's see, what else? Sorry, I'm looking through my notes. Well, during that crash, her ninja comm was broken. She needed to find a way to inform the other rangers. So her idea was 
to literally take the ninja calm, wrap it around her dog Cody, and told him to go back to the school to inform the others. Which, she must have really trained Cody good because of the fact that he was able to do all that. While she somehow managed to make a makeshift carrier, we don't see that part, but we just see her carrying Redbot using one until he rebooted to fully function. She did apologize about the whole situation, saying that he is almost like a human because of the fact of all the feelings and all that stuff. And this time, Bad Pipe shows up with Ripcore. Well, Rip Con, sorry. Rip Core, Rip Con, you can understand why I messed up his name. He was about to start playing hypnotizing music again, only for Haley to blast the pipes. They were just, it's just basically the whole what's the point of the bagpipes thing, because every time he pulls them out, they just either shoot them, and I'm gonna shoot them, take it away from him. It's just like they needed a idea to use to try to hypnotize the rangers with this. The others show up to do the whole morphing thing. They all battle. We have all four of our rangers beating up on bad pipes and Brody battling Ripcon. Though the bad pipes were gone. Bad pipes produced his actual true weapon from the Sentai variation. A fun, which I understand in Power Rangers he was supposed to be a music motif villain and pulling out the fan would not make any sense to those who are questioning why is a music motif villain using a fan unless you understand it's the yokai about him. So like I explained in the yokai fact about him later on. During the battle with Brody Ripcon, Ripcon's beaten him only for Brody to do a substitution jutsu to escape and beat him. We also get to see our rangers doing a finishing attack on bad pipes, though it was Preston and Sarah that blown them up. Haley did not do the finishing blow when it was more of her battle. <coughs> but then we also get the giant monster battle. He appears, the Megazord shows up, they're doing a the battle. And Bad Pipes decides to use his large nose to start stabbing the rangers with it. Their rebuttal, fight fire with fire, I bring it up, back the elephant! And what the elephant did was kind of ignorant in a sense. It ripped off his, I'm mean, a Bad Pipes nose. Okay, I know he's a monster, but still, you ripped off a person's nose! And this is a kid's show! And again, they kill monsters every week, so... As long as it's not human, I guess it's okay! <laughs> they just use the du dual axes, kills him, voila, battle's over. Back on the ship, Ripcon's getting yelled at by Galvatrax, and Galvatrax show doing the usual evil villain cliché, showing how much of a badass he is by killing a minion. That's it. He just killed a minion, yelled at Ripcon, and that's all that. But Odious on the side decided to sh do a plan of her own. She has a hidden little base on the ship where she has someone captured and brainwashed and going to give them the gold star. Okay, I'm already going to try to call this if this is true. Just to know, I freaking called it. The person who is captured and mind I mean, brainwashed is Brody's brother. If it is, I get to do that call that dance in any style of dancing. I'll just have to wait and see. Well, they get back to the dance. Everyone's enjoying themselves. And Victor is wearing some... I some weird outfit, which I would think he stole it from somebody, but I can't think of a good joke for it. And he is wearing a type of shoes that makes him dance. Which, it worked for a little bit until they malfunctioned, carrying Victor off. Yeah, that was it. That was the whole setup and joke. 
Why do we need Victor and Monty, really? It's like trying to do Bulk and Skull, or those two characters from Dino Thunder. Is it, this always happens with a high school setting, you always have to have a Bulk and Skull variation of these things. Haley goes back to the base to see Redbot and decides to have a dance with him. With all the rangers seeing the dance, they decide to jump in and everyone starts dancing! Even the dog decided to join in with the dancing. Everyone was dancing except Mick. Where the hell was he? This is the episode. My opinion about it... <coughs> I understand what they're trying to do. Give Redbot more of like, he's, he has emotions, he has feelings and all that stuff. And with Haley, it was questioning why they picked her for this. Yeah, I know, she need, they need to have a character episode, and it was Haley's turn to have a character. And I just, it was more hard to see. I mean, even, you could have did Sarah, and it would more likely would have been the same weird thing. Though I did had enjoyment with that the dog was actually doing some help. It basically was helping off fighting a monster. It helped inform the rangers of what's going on. They even did the joke of like, uh, what's going on, Cody? Do you know what, where Redbot went? The villain was just face palming many times because of the concept. He uses music to mind control people. This is like the third time they had a villain whose tr whose goal was to try to take the star and fail. The only difference is his was failed because of the fact that a robot came in and helped. While the others was more of uh, you know, well, Slogard was more of a he was able to get three and he just spent most of his time doing his thank you speech when he could have just ran away. We don't know how many stars they need to be considered champion. The spider basically caught all for them, but quick because of the fact they had the itis. Mind controlling could have worked if there wasn't no like weird situation. And that's all I can really state. Now let's move on to the yokai fact. The monster of the week, Bad Pipes, uh, is based off the yokai the Dai Tengu, or called the Great Tengu. For those who don't know, a Tengu is a bird-like human creature with a long red nose with a red face and monk-like clothing and wings. The most notable weapon that they have is a fan, which explained why he had a weapon in the battle. And what the fan can do, it could stir up large winds or in some occasions, can make a person's nose shrink or grow. The reason of this whole weirdness is because in the original archives of the Tengu, it's more like an avian race, where in the original drawings, it looked more like a bird than it did as a human. But in later variations, they decided to make it more human and replace the beak with a large nose. In popular culture, the most notable variation of a Tengu would be the Pokemon Shift Tree, because of the fact that it does resemble one with the long nose, the large white hair, even the footwear that it has could be resembling of what a Tengu is except wings. Though some of the moves that Shift Tree can use are flying types. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is Rasa, signing out.